Here we will discuss basic mouse operations and tools. In the last article, we went as far as adding performers. We are now going to place the performers in the first set. Before we do that, I would like to explain the basic operations of the mouse and the tools to switch the display so that you can work more smoothly. This section will mainly focus on mouse operations, but will also cover operations without a mouse, such as using a tablet device. Some types of tablet devices can use a mouse, but the right-click and mouse wheel may not be supported in the tablet version of the Drill Studio depending on the model. It is assumed that you operate with a mouse on the PC version and with a pen or finger on the tablet version. In the lesson, an illustration of a mouse is shown in the lower right corner of the screen to help you understand how to operate the mouse. Please refer to which button of the mouse is clicked for each operation. Left clicking. Right clicking. Moving the mouse wheel. Clicking the mouse wheel. Let's call this a middle click. In the Drill Studio, we work with these four types of mouse actions. Keyboard actions are also shown here. This is helpful when you are operating the mouse while holding down the Shift key. This illustration will help you to understand what kind of mouse operation you used for this lesson and the next one as well. Now, let me explain how to operate the mouse. Left click is used for basic operations such as selecting, clicking buttons, etc. On a tablet, you tap and drag with one finger. Clicking the wheel is called a middle click. Dragging while middle clicking moves the camera parallel, as shown here. The same thing can be done by selecting the hand tool and dragging with the left mouse button. Also, hold down the Alt key Mac option key to use the hand tool. On a tablet, drag with two fingers. Drag while right clicking to change the angle of the camera, as shown here. Select the Angle tool with the eye icon and left-click drag to do the same thing. Also, hold down the Alt key Option key on Mac plus Command key to use the Angle tool. On a tablet, three-finger drag. On an iPad, three-finger operation may be set to the zoom function of the iPad OS and dragging with three fingers may not work as desired. In this case, turn off the zoom function in the iPad settings. Rotate the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. The same thing can be done with the magnifying glass tool. On a tablet, pinch out and pinch in to zoom in and out. When the mouse is in a subarea, you can move left or right by rotating the mouse wheel. You can also move the waveform left or right by dragging it. On tablets, the mouse wheel is not available, so this is used. This arrow can be moved left or right by simply hovering the mouse or finger over it. This is useful when selecting multiple sheets. When you start Drill Studio for the first time, each tool looks like this. Open the tools in the menu. The ones with this check mark are the tool groups, where tools are grouped according to their use. Selecting a tool here toggles its visibility. The toolbox can be moved freely by dragging the upper bar. Drag the lower right corner to resize it.
you can hide it by clicking the cross in the upper left corner. To hide it again, select it from the menu shown earlier. Click on this equal sign to customize the tool. Some tools are not displayed by default. They have the same functions in each menu, but the tool buttons are quickly accessible, so it is convenient to arrange the most frequently used functions in an order that is easy to use. Customized tool arrangements can be registered as default settings by selecting Register Current State as default from the Tools menu. The registered settings can be reflected by selecting Reset to Default Position from the Tools menu. To return to the initial settings, click on Reset to Initial Position. All tools can be temporarily hidden by Tool Show Hide. The same can be done with the tab key on the keyboard. This tool is the camera control tool. Here are some useful tools to control the camera. This button allows you to lock the camera in 2D. Working in 3D can be a challenge when adjusting camera angles, so it's best to work in a fixed tree until you get used to it. This button allows you to fix the angle changes to the vertical and horizontal axes. This button sets the angle directly above the camera. This button will change the angle to an angle from diagonally above. If you view from directly above and turn off both rotations, you will get a fixed 2D view, but it is still a 3D space, so you can see that there is a slight angle of view, unlike a fixed 2D view. This button displays the camera target. The camera target is where the camera is focused. If you are too close to the target, you will not be able to zoom in, and if you are not sure where the target is, you will not be able to move the camera to the desired angle. Normally, you can turn this button off, but if you want to check the position of the target, you can display this button. This button moves the camera directly above the camera target. This is useful, for example, when you want to see a particular performer from the side. This button toggles between stage view and sheet view. There are several different stages available. Stage settings will be explained in another lesson. You can edit in the same way whether you are viewing a stage or a sheet. This tool is a collection of display tools. This button hides the model. This button hides the cross mark. This button hides the labels. This button hides the grid. This button allows to hide the trajectory line from the previous point. This button allows to hide the trajectory line to the next point. This button toggles the markings to black for better visibility. This button toggles between showing and hiding the area guide. It may take some time to get used to the operation, but once you find the settings that are comfortable for you, you will be able to work more smoothly. That's all for this lesson. Thank you for watching.